Okay, we're gonna go on a little shopping spree here over at Mad Melvin's in Abbotsford. We're gonna take a look at a couple things you need to buy for your perfect room. So let's go inside and see what they have. I'll hold the door for you. Come on, I'll just show you what you need. I managed to wrangle up a card here for a shopping spree over at Mad Melvin's in Abbotsford. Oh, let's see what we got here. We got some lights. Let's put those into our cart. Definitely need those. And some Thermoflex tubing here. This stuff's great for the vented shades. Pretty flexible. Oh, this is a must have for every grow room. It's a sulfur evaporator or sulfur burner. And what this thing does is it prevents powdery mildew and black spot. Pick up one of these for sure, no matter what. And we got some Ona here. Odor neutralizing agent. Smells pretty. I'll just pick some up for the hell of it. And what else we have here? Oh, a digital thermometer. This thing here is a high-low thermometer. And what it does is it records the high and the low temperatures. So when you're not there, you know what's going on. As you know, in our perfect room, we like the temperature to be no higher than 78 degrees when the lights are on and 70 degrees when the lights are off. What we have here is a tube-style vented shade. This particular vented shade allows for two lights. It's very easy to use. You put your lights in, you hook up some Thermoflex tubing, and you hook up a fan, and you're in business. You're out and growing. We're in the flower pot section of the store here. As you can see, there's a number of different sizes that you can use. I quite personally, after the plant's been propagated, I like to put it in something small like this, or a beer cup or something. I let it get root bound in there before I transfer it to the next container. When I'm budding out my plants, I prefer to use seven gallon containers such as this. I'm concerned with plant numbers and with this it allows you to have a large root mass you can clearly see and you get your most bang for your buck. In a perfect room we like to use CO2. There's two methods of putting CO2 into your perfect room environment. One's with a canister like this. We'd have a regulator and a monitor on there and that would inject the proper amount of CO2 into the room which is 1800 parts per million by the way. The second method would be uh, through a propane burner here we have a CO2 combo. We have a monitor from Matador. And in our perfect room scenario, this thing's set at 1800 parts per million. This thing controls the, this burner here from turning on and off. This thing can also be used in conjunction with uh, the tanks that we've seen earlier. And if you notice, this thing's got a little light sensor on it, a little photo cell, and that turns it off at night. So you're not just burning CO2 when you don't need it. And in here, we got a six burner blue ox. And just hook this thing right up to propane barbecue bottle, and away you go. We're going to need to circulate the air. These are two examples of fans that we use in a perfect room scenario to move the air around. The air does two things. It, it helps the plant to dry out, and also it helps strengthen the plant, because with the, in the wild you have wind, and it, this resistance causes the plant to actually give you a bigger stock, therefore you can get bigger buds. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about lighting. There's two kinds of lights to get. There's what we call a halide light, and they're used for vegging, and there's HPS lights, or high pressure sodium, and these are used for budding. The halide lights throw out a lot more blue spectrum, and they're a little bit weaker, but they fetch up a real nice plant. The HPS light throws out more reds and oranges, and uh, they're a little more power. They're typically about 140,000 lumens. So these are the ones you wanna use for budding. These are some crucial tools you'll need to purchase for mixing up your solution. One's a pH pen, one's a dissolved salts tester. The pH pen lets you know how acidic or alkali your solution is. And this one here lets you know how strong it is in parts per million. I recommend you buy both these items. The next thing we need in our two plus equation is nutrients, of course. And uh, I could talk a lot about this right now, but I think we'll dedicate an entire show just to that. 